What I do is just like, like you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yo, what's up? All right. This finally came in the mail. I've kind of hinted at it on a few uh, live streams around, you know, the SCX24 people. So there's a lot of people doing die casts and whatnot. And I kind of wanted to see how this thing would look as a die cast. Or an SCX24. This is your Bugatti Atlantic 1939, 1936, sorry. Kind of cool. I think that looked pretty rad on <laughs> an SCX24. Haven't seen this one out there yet. Everybody's doing trucks and jeeps and Baja stuff and so I was like hey, interesting I saw this and it caught my eye instantly like oh here comes the cat it's gonna hit the camera of course mushroom cat you're gonna get covered in freaking styrofoam buddy <laughs> yeah big yawn okay I'm gonna clean it up alright Got most of it cleaned up. Oh, it's even right hand drive. How right is that? Steering wheel even turns. Let's see if it'll focus up on that. Cool. Hood's open. Yeah, nice. A wicked little motor in there. Pretty rad little die cast. So I'm thinking, as you can see, it's it's nice and small, which I was really hoping for. I was yep. Oh, there's mushroom. Oh, hey, Mr. Mushroom Cake. I think that will fit no problem. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> um, Mushroom Kit, what are you doing? Oh, we got, you got super itchy area right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so good. Yeah, that's, that's just... oh, oh, okay. Okay, ease up. Don't bounce your head off the camera, please. Come on, man. What are you doing? Mushroom cat. Uh, pause. Alright, so this is what happens almost every time. I start talking to the camera and he's like, uh... Who are you talking to? Oh, he's just such a nice guy. Nice blue eyes. Yeah, there they are. Oh, so good. Squeaky compared to the other one. Crunchy. But I'm digging. Like, that is cool. Slap that over the freaking body. You can see underneath there's going to be a lot to remove. Very, very rad. Have lots of room. Try to keep the interior as best as I can, but honestly, it doesn't need to be in there. Doors open backwards. Oh, yeah, now he's pawing me. And he's back. Alright, so that was about five minutes of uh, this guy right up in my face. So, during that five minutes, I kind of... Oh, this chair sucks. Took the top off the C10 just to kind of get an idea. Make it look kind of something from Mad Max. Oh yeah, it's gonna look sick. 
probably gonna buy another chassis and kind of build this up from the ground up because I don't want to buy another axial I don't want to give them any more money after that freaking nightmare so I'm gonna buy parts and build it myself maybe get a Fury Tech ESC I'm not sure yet but I think that's gonna be pretty freaking cool it's good size as you can see it's almost the same it's pretty darn close oh no the camera's too loose it's pretty darn close like I can see that being pretty freaking rad and who uses one of these that's this is what I was wanting something freaking something with some style like anybody can just do a Jeep and a truck and whatnot and but that is freaking rad <laughs> that's a cool vehicle from what I saw, these things, like, the real ones are selling for about 32 million. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a little die cast. It was from AliExpress. Alright, so a little further progress here. This came out remarkably easy. Two screws. Right at the bottom, in the middle, in the back, and then just some finagling. With a nice little tiny flathead screwdriver. And just popped right out. So you can see uh, the steering wheel turns the tires there. Kind of cool. Nice little dash interior. Very simple. But it looks like this will be able to be taken apart. But I think I might just leave it as this because that's some good good space in there. I can cut down this bracket here if I need to, but uh, this <laughs> cool. So it looks like I will need to adjust some stuff. I'm thinking that could be pretty darn rad relocate the guts clearly so that it doesn't need to stay in that format that it's in right now I'll move it how I need but uh, the one thing that's preventing it from going on is the glued on six by one bar of Lego here you can see it's hitting it on the other side it's doing the same thing see the little freaking bar there Pretty groovy. I think that could be a pretty rad little rig. I just dig the shape of these cars a lot. Like, there's just something cool about that. Doors open backwards, suicide doors. Heck yeah. Pop your hood. It's freaking rad. Could even take these off and leave it exposed. Take that little motor, kind of mount it to the top of the ESC. Just for, uh, you know, for some style. Or leave it totally done up like that. Heck yeah. Look at that thing. Cool. Lighter. Peace.